They went all the way back to Nebuchadnezzar and got the Maltese cross with a circle in the middle, and that's the symbol of the black sun. When they started building their anti-gravity electromagnetic propulsion systems, that symbol was on the early ones they built, the Honeydew 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Now, they used to fly through the formations during World War II, and we'd see them as light because the sun was shining off of them and so forth. If they flew close enough to the bombers, they would kill the engines. Now, they tried to put some guns on it, but you don't get guns to work on electromagnetic propulsion system. So they was never successful doing it. They even created an electromagnetic propulsion system for the cannon they tried to put on it. It didn't work. Because if, any, if it's going to move electrically, the electromagnetic engine is going to stop everything. That's the reason the lights go off. That's the reason the cars stop. That's the reason the engines on the aircraft stop. Because when you get close to electromagnetic engine, everything electromagnetic stops. The flow of electricity stops. Okay? So, when we used to chase them, if the fighters got close enough to them, or they came close enough to the fighters, the engine quit. Maybe they would crash, and the pilot couldn't get it restarted, so we lost a lot of people chasing them. So we learned not to do that. Okay? It took us a while, but he finally learned, don't go chasing them. Now, I'll tell you a simple way to tell whether this vehicle you see is electromagnetic or if we have built it. Okay, and that first when the Germans started trying to build one, they would use both. They used 12 Volkswagen engines. Well, that wasn't too successful. Okay, <laughs> then they tried rockets. Then they tried jet engines. That wasn't too successful. We tried that. It wasn't too successful. Okay, now we had some electro geniuses that was working on electromagnetic engines. So at the same time, the Germans was trying to develop, you know, engines like these craft that they had recovered. Uh, well, if you study, you can find out Townsend Brown, Telster, and men like that, Meyer, who became, Meyer family, became multimillionaires in secret because they couldn't say what he was developing. But we got <clears throat> a lot of his laboratory stuff, writings, and so forth. So we were working that. The Russians was working on that. Germans, they was a little ahead of us on that. <clears throat> you know that we went in and got all the rocket science, von Braun, so on and so forth. We had another project where we sent the men in to get the engineers on these electromagnetic <clears throat> vehicles. We kept that secret for over 40 years. You know, the Mexican government because their Mayan priest <clears throat> had known this and incorporated, and they helped them. That's why they scratched out all those symbols on the Ascar planes, why Peru was able to build all those huge monoliths around the world, is because <clears throat> these people had helped them do that. And they gave them the grid system and so forth, the electromagnetic systems of the Earth, and they had shown them where the null points were, so on and so forth. 